the formidable robot. The Pink Panther was originally a scientist who worked with animals back in early 1966, before the incident occurred in his own basement laboratory. His wife worked with him and were married early in their graduation from high school, and got their degree in chemistry. The scientist's name was Dr. Malcolm Marco, and his wife's name is Selena Williams Marco. His latest experiment was on a black panther from a local zoo, he injected the beast for a blood sample, and found some yellow substance he mixed with some chemicals. He mixed the panther's crimson red blood with the yellow chemicals, and surprisingly the chemicals turned pink as he spun the substance around with a spoon. He wanted to prove the world that he can cure blindness and deafness, and give them the keen senses of a big cat. The other scientists thought this was a bad idea, seeing it as total rubbish, and the experiment isn't done yet. But Malcolm didn't listen. He tested the experiment on himself, not wasting time on a test monkey, and drank from it. Just a little, leaving half a glass of the serum. It tasted like he was drinking half a carton of Pepto-Bismol. But after he drank the pink substance, Malcolm felt somehow nauseous, almost as if he was about five seconds away from vomiting. This was labeled as a side effect of the new drug he now invented. After a few weeks, he became unbearably nauseated and somewhat increasingly pain-stricken. Then one day, Malcolm noticed something that troubled him greatly. His arms, legs and chest hairs suddenly turned pink, including the hair on his head. His face was somehow distorted and taken shape of that of a panther, well, almost. Selena said on a date that his face was different from the face she once loved. During the mid-80s, Malcolm's transformation worsened when he continued to drink from the pink serum, still trying to prove that his concoction worked. He was pushed over the edge, filling with power and thought that he was a genius. But in reality, he was turning himself into a monster. An abomination, a Frankenstein monster. By the time Selena got back from work as a professor in an institute, she saw a terrifying sight. Her husband was in the basement, resembling a half-human half-panther hybrid. He was covering himself in his bedsheets, refusing to show himself to the world. She finally decided to show him that the project has failed, and showed him a mirror, making him look at himself, showing him that the elixir was a complete failure. Malcolm faced the music and was done with the serum, then flushed it down the toilet. He couldn't reverse what was been done to him, so he conjured up a plan to make an antidote and turn himself back into the man Selena once loved for years. But in 1990, he died of blood contamination in his own lab. The pink serum had turned his blood pink, and it caused him to become ill, and die a slow and painful death. He died trying to find a cure for his genetic deformation. When he died though, the morgue thought that he was some sort of alien, but the truth bared a tragic story about a mad scientist that tried to change the world. A man by the name of Isidore Frizz Freling read the news article about Dr. Malcolm Marco's death, and saw the picture of him in his mutated state. Then got an idea to inspire a cartoon dedicated to Malcolm. And that's when the Pink Panther was made, and is still airing to this day with Pink Panther and Pals in 2010. Nobody knows about the real tragic, terrifying and shocking story of how the Pink Panther was inspired, but now that you read this story, I think you do now. Take this story as a memory, and share this story with others, but do be careful when you want to be famous. Infamy has its price, and yes, there is a snake in the Garden of Eden. All that infamy will quickly turn into street trash when you're not careful. And you just might wind up like poor Malcolm Marco, now kept in the morgue somewhere. And the life lesson in this story is. It ain't easy being pink. <laughs>